Rachel Meghan Markle was born August 4, 1981 in Canoga Park, California and identifies as being mixed race. Her parents divorced when she was six. Markle has a close relationship with her African-American mother, Doria Ragland. Markle's European-American father, Thomas Markle Sr., worked as a director of photography and lighting for Married, with Children, and Meghan frequently visited the set of the television series as a child. She is reportedly estranged from her paternal half-siblings, Samantha Markle and Thomas Markle Jr. Growing up in Los Angeles, Markle attended Hollywood Little Red Schoolhouse. At age 11, she wrote to Procter & Gamble to gender-neutralize a dishwashing soap commercial on national television. Three months later, P&G changed the commercial. Raised as a Protestant, she graduated from Immaculate Heart High School, an all-girl Catholic school. In 1999, Markle was admitted to Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois, where she joined Kappa Kappa Gamma Sorority. After her junior year, Markle interned at the American Embassy in Buenos Aires and considered a political career. However, she did not score high enough in the Foreign Service Officer test to proceed further with the U.S. State Department, and returned to NU. She also attended a study abroad program in Madrid. In 2003, Markle earned her bachelor's degree with a double major in theater and international studies from Northwestern School of Communication. Markle had some difficulty getting roles early in her career due to being ethnically ambiguous. To support herself between acting jobs, she worked as a freelance calligrapher and taught bookbinding. Her first on-screen appearance was a small role as a nurse in an episode of the daytime soap opera General Hospital. Markle had small guest roles on the television show Century City, The War at Home and CSI, NY in 2006. She also did several contract acting and modeling jobs, including a stint as a briefcase girl on the U.S. game show Deal or No Deal. She appeared in Fox's series Fringe as junior agent Amy Jessup in the first two episodes of its second season. Markle appeared in three 2010 films, Get Him to the Greek, Remember Me and the Candidate. Then, one film, Horrible Bosses in 2011. She was paid $187,000 for her role in Remember Me and $171,429 for her role in the short film The Candidate. In July 2011, Markle joined the cast of the USA Network show Suits through to late 2017 and the seventh season. Her character, Rachel Zane, began as a paralegal and eventually became an attorney. While working on Suits, Markle lived for nine months each year in Toronto. Fortune magazine estimated that Markle was paid $50,000 per episode, amounting to an equivalent annual salary of $450,000. Markle and American film producer Trevor Engelson began dating in 2004. They were married in Ocho Rios, Jamaica on September 10, 2011 and concluded a no-fault divorce in August 2013, citing irreconcilable differences. Markle's subsequent relationship with Canadian celebrity chef and restaurateur Corey Vitiello ended in July 2016 after almost two years. Meghan in June 2016 began a relationship with Prince Harry, a grandson of Queen Elizabeth II. In November, the prince directed his communications secretary to release a statement on his behalf to express personal concern about pejorative and false comments made about his girlfriend by mainstream media and internet trolls. In September 2017, Markle and Prince Harry first appeared together in public at the Invictus Games in Toronto, of which Harry is patron. Meghan Markle's engagement to Prince Harry was announced on November 27, 2017 by Harry's father Charles, Prince of Wales. The announcement prompted generally positive comments about having a mixed-race person as a member of the royal family, especially in regard to Commonwealth countries with populations of blended or native ancestry. Markle announced that she would retire from acting, and began the lengthy process of becoming a British citizen, which is subject to strict immigration rules about living outside of the UK for more than 90 days. In preparation for the wedding, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, baptized Markle and confirmed her into the Church of England on March 6, 2018. The private ceremony, performed with water from the River Jordan, took place in the Chapel Royal at St. James's Palace. The marriage ceremony was held on May 19 at St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle. 
It was reportedly agreed in advance that excess funds generated from the BBC broadcast of the ceremony would go to a charity chosen by the newlywed couple. In April 2020, Feeding Britain, which provides food packages to families in food poverty, was nominated to receive £90,000 from the BBC. The Queen is constitutionally bound to act on the advice of the government, as such, members of the British royal family are politically neutral by convention. However, Markle was politically vocal before marrying Prince Harry. She backed Hillary Clinton during the 2016 United States presidential election and publicly denounced the opponent, Donald Trump. The same year, when the referendum on the United Kingdom's membership of the European Union resulted in favor of Brexit, Markle expressed her disappointment on Instagram. As an eligible voter in the United States, she released a video with her husband encouraging others to register for the 2020 United States presidential election on National Voter Registration Day. Some media outlets took it as an implicit endorsement of the Democratic candidate, Joe Biden, which prompted Donald Trump to dismiss their messaging at a press conference. In 2014, Markle founded her own lifestyle blog The Tig. She wrote about food, fashion, beauty, travel and inspirational women. The viewing audience consisted primarily of the fans of Markle and Suits. Promotion of the blog on other social media platforms targeted 3 million followers on Instagram, 800,000 on Facebook, and 350,000 on Twitter. In April 2017, the TIG closed. In January 2018, Markle took all articles offline and deleted her social media accounts. It is estimated that Markle's social media activities annually earned her about $80,000 from endorsements and sponsorships. Markle became known through the TIG for her fashion sense, releasing two fashion collections with Canadian clothing company Reitmans in 2015 and 2016. The lines were based on her personal style and that of her suit's character. Markle has cited Emmanuel Alt as her style inspiration. Shortly after her engagement to Prince Harry in 2017, Markle caused a surge of interest in Scottish retailer Strathbury after carrying one of its handbags to a public event. This was reported as an indication that her fashion choices would produce a variation of the Kate Middleton effect. After Markle and Prince Harry's first appearance as a couple, brands McCage, Burks, R&R Jewelers, Crown Jewelers and Everlane noted an upswing in their website hits and sales. It was speculated that Markle's effect would be broader internationally because she already had a strong American appeal. Consequently, the United States saw a boost in yellow gold jewelry sales in the first quarter of 2018. After becoming engaged, Markle's first official public appearance with Prince Harry was at a World AIDS Day walkabout in Nottingham on December 1, 2017. On March 12, the 2018 Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey was the first royal event she attended with the Queen. On March 23, Harry and Meghan made an unannounced day visit to Northern Ireland. In total, Markle attended 26 public engagements prior to the wedding. The Duchess's first official engagement after marriage was on May 22, when she and her husband attended a garden party celebrating the charity work of the Prince of Wales. In July 2018, Meghan's first official trip abroad as a royal was to Dublin, Ireland, alongside Harry. In October 2018, the Duke and Duchess travelled to Sydney, Australia for the 2018 Invictus Games. This formed part of a Pacific tour that included Australia, Fiji, Tonga and New Zealand. As representatives of the Queen, the couple were greeted warmly by crowds in Sydney, and the announcement of the Duchess's pregnancy hours after their arrival delighted the public and media. During their visit to Morocco in February 2019, the Duke and Duchess focused on projects centered on women's empowerment, girls' education, inclusivity and encouragement of social entrepreneurship. It is otherwise noted that the Duchess participated in her husband's work as youth ambassador to the Commonwealth, which included overseas tours. In 2018, Tatler named the Duchess with other senior royal women on its list of Britain's best-dressed people. Following the announcement of her pregnancy, the Duchess appeared in a Karen G dress that resulted in the Australian designer's website crashing. Fashion website Netta Porter ranked the Duchess as one of the best-dressed women in 2018 and was nominated for the 2018 Teen Choice Awards in the category Choice Style Icon. 
In 2019, British brand Reese reported a growth in profits after the Duchess was seen wearing a mini dress by them on International Women's Day. In January 2020, the Duke and Duchess returned to the UK from a vacation in Canada and announced that they were stepping back from their role as senior members of the royal family, and would balance their time between the United Kingdom and North America. A statement released by the palace confirmed that the Duke and Duchess were to become financially independent and cease to represent the Queen. The couple would retain their HRH stylings but not be permitted to use them. The formal role of the Duke and Duchess would be subject to a 12-month review period, ending in March 2021. The Duchess's final solo engagement as a senior royal was a visit to Robert Clack School on March 7 in Dagenham ahead of International Women's Day. The Duke and the Duchess remain President and Vice President respectively of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust QCT. Periodically, online QCT chat sessions are conducted and uploaded to YouTube for general public viewing. In June 2020, they signed with the Harry Walker Agency, owned by media company Endeavor, to conduct public speaking engagements. In September 2020, the Sussexes signed a private commercial deal with Netflix to develop scripted and unscripted series, film, documentaries, and children programming for the streaming service. In December 2020, it was announced that she had invested in Clever Blends, a coffee company based in Southern California. In the same month, the Duke and Duchess signed a multi-year deal with Spotify to produce and host their own programs through their audio producing company, Archwell Audio. The first episode of the podcast was released on the service in December 2020. In March 2020, it was announced that the Duchess's first post-royal project would be the narration of Disney Nature's documentary Elephant, which was released on April 3. In support of Elephants, Disney Nature and the Disney Conservation Fund would donate to Elephant Without Borders for species conservation in Botswana. In April 2020, the Duchess volunteered with her husband in a private capacity to personally deliver foods prepared by the Project Angel Food to Los Angeles residents amidst the COVID-19 pandemic in the United States. In July 2020, she spoke in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. The Duchess's patronage of London's National Theatre, the Association of Commonwealth Universities, Smart Works, and Mayhew reflects her earlier interests in the arts, access to education, women's empowerment, and animal well-being, respectively. In March 2019, the Duchess was appointed the Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. In October 2019, the Duchess voiced a Public Health England announcement with other members of the royal family for the Every Mind Matters mental health program. In April 2020, Meghan and Harry confirmed that an alternative foundation in lieu of Sussex Royal would be called Archwell. The name stems from the Greek word Archi, which means source of action, the same word that inspired the name of their son. Archwell was registered in the United States. Its website was officially launched in October 2020. Meghan became a princess of the United Kingdom upon her marriage to Prince Harry, entitled to the style of Royal Highness. After her marriage, she was styled Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Sussex. She also holds the titles of Countess of Dumbarton and Baroness Kilkeel. She is the first person to hold the title Duchess of Sussex. Following the Duke and Duchess's decision to step back from royal duties in 2020, the couple agreed not to use the style of Royal Highness in practice, but still technically retain the style.